start you on the bike. Okay. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Do you have any pain today? My hip's kind of sore, but not too bad. Okay. I just walk. Okay. Yeah, just use the pathway. Javen Alvarez Hopkins has been in and out of physical therapy for more than three years. Okay, lift up best you can. Recovering from a disease he likely got okay. from eating contaminated food. What's the hardest thing? Number one hardest thing that you have to do during your day? Running around and all that. That's kind of hard to do. Okay. PT is probably going to be a regular part of your life for a while. In 2018, when Javen was nine, his parents rushed him to the hospital after finding him on his bedroom floor, paralyzed and foaming at the mouth. He was in intensive care for 30 days and had to learn how to walk again. Look up, bub. Look up here. It took doctors weeks to identify the cause. Guillain-Barre syndrome, a rare autoimmune disorder triggered by Campylobacter, a bacteria the doctor said he most likely got from chicken. Come on, let's go. Push, push. Come on. All right, dude. There you go. The infectious disease doctor had explained to us that they found the bacteria in his body and how the bacteria works itself into the system. Poultry was number one on the list. You go to sleep one day, and you wake up the next day, and you're in the hospital, not knowing if your child is going to live or die. Americans eat an estimated 160 million servings of chicken a day, and most of it is just fine. But while countries like Denmark and Finland have all but eliminated diseases like salmonella from chicken, in America, it's generally accepted as one of the risks. Campylobacter isn't as widely known, but it's the largest cause of foodborne illness in America, resulting in one and a half million infections and around 124 deaths every year. And according to data uncovered by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism and shared exclusively with Vice News, American poultry companies sold thousands of products contaminated with it between 2015 and 2020, nearly half of them strains that were resistant to antibiotic treatment. These dangerous bacteria are coming into our kitchens despite decades of efforts to root them out, starting in the place where they first get into our food, the factory farm. So we're in North Carolina right now, and we're heading to the farm of a former Purdue chicken farmer who has become a whistleblower about the way these big companies do their business. This, this is where the chickens or normally. Oh, you can smell it in here. Yeah. You can See, smell that there used to be chickens in here. You'd have 25,000 birds in here? Yeah, that forklift would come down here and they'd have a guy on this side and a guy on that side and they'd dump them like that. It, it, at the very end, you can't hardly walk through here. Rudy Howell ran this chicken farm for more than two decades until 2020 when Purdue canceled his contract. He later filed a complaint with the Department of Labor accusing the company of punishing him for calling out what he says were dangerous business practices, like not properly cleaning dead bird parts off company equipment, overfilling cages, and delivering sickly chicks in dirty trays. Did you notice stuff that didn't seem safe and, and healthy? <laughs> well, when they struck, when them catch machines come out here and they have dead chickens on, and, uh, and, and see, they're supposed to take them machines after each catch mm. and carry them down there to the plant and wash them and all. And they'd bring them out here and have dead chickens on them. And the trailer's wow. nasty. And when they put that many birds in there and, and, and a lot of them sick, you know, they're gonna die and you're gonna miss them. And they're gonna be in that litter. And that's gonna cause bacteria to grow. Howell crossed Purdue by inviting an activist group to film conditions on the farm. After he says the company didn't respond to his concerns. When I first got into it, they talked about, you know, feed the world. What better way could you serve your community than to do this. But, you know, it, it's just got so far out of hand. There should have been a moratorium put on chicken houses in this area back in the 90s. And they, they ain't done nothing overloaded the system down here. Because it's just too much. Too much. Purdue says that Howell's contract was canceled after he violated safety protocols by inviting the outside group to film. The Department of Labor hasn't issued a final ruling on the case, and the parties disagree on its status. DOL declined to comment. In a statement, Purdue said they've worked hard over the years to improve safety for consumers and take several steps to ensure the health and comfort of chickens on farms. 
but they acknowledge it's not standard practice to test chicks for Campylobacter. Does yeah. anyone come and check the chicken coop? Does, nope. does USDA? Nope. Nope. Doesn't that seem kind of crazy? I mean. Oh yeah, it is. It is to me, but you know, uh, Purdue don't want nobody knowing their business. Uh, you know. Uh, and, and, and that's what really upset me. Given what you know about how chickens are raised in this country, do you, do you trust that it's safe to eat? Not really. Uh, I mean, when you get down to it and all that I've read and studied and seen, no. I'm not a disgruntled farmer. I'm a disappointed farmer. <laughs> you know, to find out for all these years what I've been putting my blood, sweat, and tears in is bullshit. As long as the fox is guarding the hen house, there ain't nothing gonna change. The issues in food safety are bigger than any one company. Federal oversight is a fractured mess. And there's no federal agency that oversees health and safety of chickens on the farm, where diseases like Campylobacter could be eliminated. Instead, the government focuses its efforts on catching diseases once they get to the slaughterhouse. But even then, there are holes. The USDA doesn't consider Campylobacter or Salmonella adulterants, like it does with E. coli in ground beef, which means a certain amount of chicken can test positive for them and still be sold. 7.7% for Campylobacter, 15.4% for Salmonella. The records obtained by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism show that poultry companies have regularly exceeded those limits, with minimal consequences. When it comes to pathogens and disease spread, there really is just a complete gap <laughs> over oversight over this. But basically, USDA's jurisdiction pretty much starts at the slaughterhouse. So what happens before a carcass comes to the slaughterhouse is really outside of the jurisdiction of the USDA. And we're talking about, you know, what happens on the farm that is largely falling onto state and local regulators, which really have not had food safety and pathogens at, at the top of their commitments. We've just kind of, you know, I guess turned a blind eye to it. Why aren't they doing more? It's really kind of boiling down to corporate control, right? These companies have a significant amount of control over the market and also a significant amount of money to push towards lobbying. Any kind of regulation that might slow down their processes at all, even if it's slowing down line speeds so that inspectors have more time to investigate carcasses, they fight tooth and nail against it because it hits their bottom line. And in the meantime, we're told as consumers that it's up to us to, you know, basically make sure that we're not getting sick when we feed our families. A spokesman for the industry told Vice News that food safety is the number one priority of producers. He noted that the vast majority of consumers are cooking and handling chicken properly. Oh, right there. Get it, get it. They shouldn't happen to people. They shouldn't have to wonder what they did wrong when there's people out there knowing that this is something that's happening. I blame the companies that are not taking responsibility. The people that know that this is out there, this is, this is in poultry, and this, it's something that they can prevent, and nobody's doing anything about it. Nothing's happening. There's no consequence. They don't see how it completely turns your world upside down, like flips it where you can't, you can't catch control of it. 